my people. Check this out. I was doing just, I don't know, random searching or something the other day. And I ran across this tool called Audio Pen. And it, it's really weird because it came up at a time where I didn't have a chance to look at it. But what I did was I accidentally clicked on the demo video in the process of basically trying to capture the note to go back and look at this later. And I heard about 15, 20 seconds of the demo video. And I was like, bruh, bruh. Now, I use Otter, O-T-T-E-R dot A-I. I love it to death. Otter joins meetings and it does perfect transcriptions of my meetings. It allows me to leave quick capture notes and all of the above. But Audio Pen does something a little bit different. And I'm basically going to test it out live for you guys. So I did go to the website and I just signed up simply using my Gmail account. As a matter of fact, I don't know if I could generate another like unsigned out version, but let me try it real quick. Anyway, so I haven't put a single thing in here yet. I haven't messed with it at all. I literally just signed up and it's real simple. It's a clean interface. And as a matter of fact, we're just gonna jump over right now and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like because it is absolutely incredible. So let me pop over here. We got the old browser switch working. So this is the interface, not a lot to it. Up here, there is where your account is set up and it tells me, you know, I got my email there. I can download the web app, which I haven't tested yet. I heard the Chrome extension is pretty cool. We'll look at that in a second. If you want to send a note, there's there. And no, I haven't generated the affiliate yet, but I probably will. And then you can do something like uh, set up this thing called Prime. Okay, so we pop out of here. At the bottom, you have a space to upload an audio file, right? I do. This is only an audio prime member benefit, but we'll get to that in a second. Down here, there is the ability to rewrite a text note. Again, that is designed for their prime memberships because he's setting this up as a freemium software, which I fully get, fully understand, and actually kind of support. And then over here is where you would do your settings. So in your basic settings, you have the ability to select your input language, in which case I'll select English, select your output language, I'll select Japanese. Nope, I'll leave it at English. Uh, they even have a difference between like UK and US English because there's things like schedule and schedule. <laughs> and But if you were to sign up for a prime members you can do things like manage different writing styles so you're going for the casual going for a little bit more business maybe you're going for something that has very particular words you can adjust your output length uh you can add special words for us it's going to be ecamm of course <laughs> um you can select different language styles cleaner transcripts integrate with zapier and then there is some branding and color options that are available to you there. So let me go ahead and click out of this and give you a live demo of what Audio Pen does. This thing had me just like absolutely over the moon just looking at it real, real quick on the fly. So basically what it does is it allows you to record your thoughts and it will give you a cleaner transcript of that thought, right? It'll sort of make it easier for you to get the notes out that you need and other things like that. So let me go ahead and do this. I'm just gonna speak off the top of the dome and see what we come up with, okay? And see what kind of notes it does and how it cleans the notes up. So I'm just gonna press this little guy down here. <laughs> All right, so ah, now you can see that the things are moving. All right, cool. So once again, I wanted to record a quick note to talk about uh, the conversation we had yesterday when figuring out value structure and the things that are important to you and how that relates to you finding your purpose. In that process, had some conversation with members in the Gold Group and came to the conclusion that of my five, which are curiosity, knowledge, self-respect, service, creativity, that most of the people in the group carry two other, sometimes more, matching values. And so you'll find out that once you get real clear on what you're talking about with your crew, 
what you're talking about with your friends, uh, you get clear on your value structure, you will find out that you vibrate the best with the people who have similar and shared values. And you also feel a little weird or standoffish or maybe, you know, I can deal with this person, but I'm not close to them because you guys don't match values. So it's really important when you're creating your content, you're creating your community, that you're also looking at what type of values you're attempting to put together around that particular business. Now, your business values and your personal values may overlap. They also might be different. And know that when you're trying to develop your audience so you don't go into it hoping that everybody has the same sort of mentality as you do, because that caused me to screw up a large portion of the beginning of building this business, building the membership, building the community, is I wasn't clear what the values were and what my expectations were of people who were joining, and it allowed basically me to make some mistakes as far as who to let in and literally, literally scared away some of the people who would probably be really, really good for this group. So now being far more clear on the value structure, I will start generating sort of roadblocks in order to catch people that I don't think will align early and, you know, find a way to deal with them or send them different or Mostly what I would do is recommend them to a different sort of coaching mentality because we definitely want people that are about the knowledge, that are hella curious, have high levels of self-respect, and most of all, creativity and service. Givers gain. I like the people that are in service. So now let's end this audio pen demo and see how it transcribes the note now that I fix the microphone. It probably will cut this last part off. Okay, now it's uploading, finally, and I wonder how I'm going to get rid of this busted one because I won't want any ugly things in my situation. Also, it's going to be real funny when I go to this uh, video, I'll probably try to cut out the part where I screwed it up and Rich was laughing at me. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. But yeah, and from like the demo that I saw, basically what happened is this thing took what you said and rewrote it in a more clear and easier to understand type situation. All right, so here we go. It completely skipped the part where I was rambling in the beginning. It comes into aligning values for community building, right? So I go, yesterday we discussed uh, understanding your purpose through identifying what's important to you. My goal group, I found most of the people share at least two of my five values, curiosity, knowledge, self-respect, service, and creativity. Damn, it did a good job on that, right? It said it becomes easier to connect with others when you understand your own values. Much more cleaner than the way I said it. Uh, you're more likely to gel with those who share similar principles. This is, if there's a mismatch, sorry, in values, relationships can feel awkward or distanced, Oh, shit. Oh, shit. This is dope. Uh, when building a community around your business content, it's crucial to consider the values you want surrounding it. Your personal and business values might intersect. They could be distinct. Don't expect everyone in your audience to have the same mindset as yours. This assumption led me astray initially in building my business. Fuck. God. Yo, I know you guys don't see me geek out. This is me geeking out. This is when I'm like, yo, madness. I wasn't clear about uh, expected values for members joining our community, which resulted in some missteps regarding admissions and even deterred potential valuable members. Now I'm clear about our value structure and I'm setting up measures early on for spotting those unlikely to align well. We aim for individuals to keep on gaining knowledge driven by curiosity with high self-esteem who are creative and devoted towards serving others. These characteristics best fit into our group dynamic. God damn. Fam. Fam. That, that, that is clean. Holy God, that is clean. Oh my God. That was, I mean, literally, that was the first test after I fixed all of the craziness, but good load.
Good Lord. You know what's funny? Right before I recorded this video, I said I need to go in and clean out the Unify software and uh, Castro and so many other audio sources that I don't really use anymore because they can just start to get to be a, a bit much. And if you saw my uh, my preferences, I got like 50, 1100 of them in here. Uh, so, But minus that minor misstep, this is dope. So now what can you do with this? You can add a tag right? Oh, that's for prime members. You can add an image. Okay. So you can create a shareable image perfectly sized for Twitter, right? You can be great for LinkedIn posts, uh, great for Instagram stories. So you could even use this for generating some things like that. Okay. Let's go here. Let's hit a customized colors. Again, that's a prime setting. I, you know, I'm not, I'm not mad at this dude trying to make a little paper. Um, Let's just go create and see what this generates. Uh, shareable images being created. You can make a copy of the note. Oh, look, that is it. Done. Audio Pencil AI. That is fantastic. Let me drag and drop this note to the desktop just in case I decide to do something with it. All right. We're going to go back here. Uh, you can make a copy of this note, and then you can save the note. So we're definitely going to save it. And then here's your little dot right here in order to make some changes right um get rid of that i will take this one that we screwed up and delete it so you get to save your notes and they'll all end up in here but you know going back to this prime membership thing dude has 150 for a lifetime or 75 for a year he doesn't really have any you know, let me try this for a couple of months and see. This is sort of something you got to just do the free one until you run into brick walls and then decide you're going to like it. I'm going to tell you what, knowing me and the way I work and how much easier it is for me to talk things through than to sit down and write, especially trying to grow the newsletter. The fact that without seven commands, yes, I could record this in, say, the script and then take that transcript and say, throw it to chat GPT and have chat GPT generate me something out of it. I could do all of those steps, but you know what? This is faster. And I want to be able to generate a lot more content, especially things for the newsletter. And I'm thinking about putting back up the blog and the blog again, you know, some people will read it, but it's not really going to be about people reading it. It's going to be about building my authority as a public speaker and as a content coach sort of directed on uh, un unscrewing some mindset situations. Those things just come from SEO and, and Google food, which requires a lot of writing, which I, nowadays I just don't have time to write, but I have so much stuff in my head that I want to get out. So being able to, in a single step, this is better than what Otter is doing. And maybe Otter will catch up. Like I love the thing I love about Otter is when I'm on my phone, Manchester game is in three minutes, so this video is about to end abruptly. <laughs> when I'm on my phone, I can just tap to record, and I can say, you know, did a really cool job of demoing audio pen today. One thing that I like about that versus Otter AI is it will take the random musings of my brain and sort of rewrite them into a more concise publishable, printable, shareable methodology, as opposed to just general ramblings, which won't make a lot of sense. And no one wants to read something with that much stuff on it. So hopefully Otter AI will get these kind of AI tools. In the meantime, I don't know, man, I might just give this dude 75 bucks and call it a win because it's, uh, it's pretty legit. So if I were to stop that, it is currently processing the note and there it is. It takes, you know, about the same amount of time, but the transcription quality is like borderline perfect. Now, what I could do with this, because they haven't put any AI stuff in here yet, I could basically copy this note, right? Um, highlight a portion, drag down, copy it. But here I can copy it, highlight, comment, add a photo and share. 
What I can do with it, though, is have it rewrite that in a concise sort of fashion, right? Now, real quick, before the game starts, let me try one other thing. Going back to what I was saying prior, um, first, what you would get with this, again, you can write in different styles, integrate into Zapier, big one for me, uh, record longer videos up to 15 minutes, upload audio files, get custom shareable images, create uh, super summaries, combine multiple notes, and create a super summary. Extremely useful if you got many thoughts about a topic that you've collected over time. Use this feature to write in-depth essays, blogs, emails, and more. That's kind of clutch. Uh, you can download your voice notes. You can save unlimited notes. You got easier sharing. Transform text into notes, which means you can just take a bunch of text you've already written from something else and turn it into a sort of a note or a, a video script or something of that nature. Uh, select dynamic styles, writing an email, writing an essay, to-do list, just hit record and talk. And when you're done, it will pick up the writing style and generate the output accordingly. Again, super bonus. Uh, it can restyle your existing notes. So say you got notes from other things that you've written for just, you know, years on end. You can copy those in and, and generate new stuff from that. You got better search, edit your transcripts, uh, add tags to your notes, and customize your note length. So you can say, take what I said and make something longer, crisper, shorter, like more details, whatever. You have all of that. You can pause your recording to collect your thoughts. Also dope. Cleaner transcripts and, again, save special words. So that's all in there. I'm probably going to go all in and set up. I don't know, man. I might even just go lifetime deal because it's kind of dope. I'm going to give it a couple more shots and see what you're playing with. But one of the things that you could do um, with this is hit your view original transcript, right? So I'm going to select this and say copy. And then real quick, go to chat. Mm -hmm. Oh, Why am I not logged in? Log in, dang it. That's weird. Just logging in. Doo -doo 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 -doo. All right. So I can paste this in and then say, please All right, this is, I mean, normally I add a lot more to this, but I just want to see like how good ChatGPT does it versus the way they did it. And I'll read this real quick while it's done. It says, unlock the power of your shared values in your community, uh, content and community building. Hey, content creators, let's talk about something crucial for building a thriving community around your content, understanding and embracing shared values. I had an enlightened conversation with some of my Go Group members yesterday and brought up game change, brought a game changing realization to light. So here's the deal. When you get crystal, crystal clear about your own value structure and what truly matters to you, magic happens. You start acting, blah, you start acting like-minded and you start attracting that's why i can't read you start attracting like-minded individuals who resonate with your values and what's and that's where real connection and engagement happens much better on my journey i identified my top five values curiosity knowledge self-respect service and creativity now guess what most of the folks in my gold group share at least two of these values sometimes even more uh it's a magnet for forming stronger bonds and fostering a supportive community. Here's a crucial takeaway. Don't overlook, overlook the significance of aligning values when creating your content in your community. Your personal and business values may overlap, but they can also be distinct. Embrace that diversity. Yes, I admit in the early stages of building my business and community, I had some mistakes. I was clear, I wasn't clear about the values I was seeking and the result, I led some individuals who didn't quite fit the vibe. Lesson learned. Now that I'm laser focused with my value structure and active, 
actively using it as a filter. I'm creating roadblocks, figuratively speaking, of course, to catch those who may not align with our core values early on. This way, I can gracefully guide them towards a different coaching path that suits them better. It picked up on that, right? Uh, at the heart of my community, I cherish people who share a passion for knowledge, curiosity, self-respect, creativity, and service. These are the kind of individuals I want to surround myself with and I know will contribute immensely to the growth of our community. So, fellow content creators, take a moment to reflect on your own values and the type of people you want to attract. Be clear about your expectations for the kind of mentality that resonates with your vision. If that's not okay, if it's okay if that not everyone fits that mold. Dang, I can't read today. <laughs> the beauty of diversity. As you venture forth with your content and community building, remember the power of shared values. Embrace it. Uh, make it a part of your strategy. And watch your community thrive like never before. All right, that's a wrap. Let's end this audio pandemic. Okay, it kept that part. It should have cut that part off. But... Chat GPT, so look, you don't have to go out and buy something like Audio Pen. Chat GPT does a decent job of it. Honestly, it does. I, I like the style of what came out of Audio Pen better, but maybe I could have made the prompt better in Chat GPT. This is just a demo. Um, I like it. I'm going to probably buy it. I'm going to mess around with it a little bit more and. And, and when I do, you'll know because I'll add an affiliate link to my joint because that's what we do around here. Uh, pretty incredible stuff at the end of the day. These are tools, and I'm going to find these tools, and I'm going to share with you guys in the membership. You guys get it first. By the time I recreate this video and make it so that other people will see it, you will have at least like a week head start. But that's it for now. I appreciate you. Get in when you fit in. Mahalo.